welcome to the series of control chart videos in the previous video we have seen the introduction of control chart what is control chart what is the purpose of control chart as i was explaining in that video i will upload each video about every single type of control chart that we have to use so as the first video we are going to understand about xmr or in other words called imr individual moving range chart so individual moving range chart is the first chart that we are going to understand in this video as we see the word individual moving range means this is a combination of two control charts individual chart and moving range chart and when do we use it we will use it when we are dealing with continuous data which is also called as variable data and in that section you when you can collect data in the form of subgroups or you can collect data one after the other individually so this chart is drawn when you are collecting data one after the other individually not in the form of subgroup if you are collecting it in the form of subgroup there are other charts that we can use like x bar r or x bar s which i will be explaining in my upcoming videos but to start with we will understand how to deal with continuous data collected one after the other not in the form of subgroup but collected individually one after the other then the chart that we need to use is imr or xmr imr in some softwares it is called imr in some softwares it will be called xmr where the letter x represents individual data points that get collected and mr represents moving range so individual moving range chart so let's understand how to construct individual moving range chart so for us to draw control chart in excel file we definitely need the control chart constant table derived by walter schuert so this control chart constant table is available in internet you can download it in excel or pdf form so here i have downloaded some of the values of control chart constants which i will be using in my uh, calculations when i draw control charts in excel file so that is the first information that i have this is an extract of values from walter schuert's control chart constant table then i also given step by step instruction of how to draw this control chart so that is the next uh, in section of this particular excel file and the third section of the excel file is where we are going to do the actual calculations so friends those who are viewing this video if you are interested to get a copy of this excel file so that you will be able to understand it and also teach it to your team members you can write to our email address i will give my email address in the description you can write to our email address we will be happy to share this excel template with which you can construct control charts in excel and also explain it to your team members so that they also understand the formula behind how the center line and control limits are being calculated okay so here if you see the first step is decide what is the metric for which you want to draw the control chart so in this case i have picked up ph value of detergent in a detergent manufacturing company where they manufacture detergent so in every packet of detergent i have taken a sample and checked the ph value so that ph value 25 data points i have captured here so this is continuous data or otherwise called variable data so this is the first set of information that i have so the next step is to calculate the average for the individual data point before that we need to calculate the moving range so what do we mean by moving range we all know what is a range range is difference between maximum and minimum data point if i have three data point the difference between the maximum value and minimum value in the three data point is what we call it as range but what is moving range here as i told i have picked up samples one after the other the first sample is 6.05 the second sample is 5.99 if i want to calculate the range for only two data points which is nothing but difference between the two data points can i calculate moving range for the first two data point no why there is no data point above it starts with only 6.05 so moving range can only be calculated from the second data point so how do i calculate that shall i just put this value minus this value no if i do it at some point of time sorry this value minus this value can i do it if i do it at some point of time this will result positive and negative value so to avoid that what we are going to do is we are going to use the absolute function of excel so we are going to say the absolute value of 
difference between this value and this value. Now, if I copy and paste it, even the value above is bigger or value below is bigger, still it will end up only the absolute values, there will be no negative value. So, what we have calculated now is called a moving range. Why it is moving range? Because this cell is the difference between first and second data point, whereas this cell is the difference between the second and third data point. Likewise, I have copy pasted the entire formula so that the moving range is calculated. So, in column K, I have my actual data points which are measured. In column L, I have calculated the moving range for the actual data point. My second step is completed. Now, my third step is to calculate average for both my individual data point and also for my moving range. So, what do I do? So, I say sum of all individual data points divided by count of all individual data point thereby I get the average if you just quickly want to see if you see here the average is 5.9848 and I have 5.9848 so what we do in the second cell you can just refer to the previous cell and now you can copy paste this cell till the last cell of your table for which we are going to do this uh, IMR uh, plotting so now I have my individual data point, I have the moving range, I have the X bar. Now I want to calculate the moving range average, which is MR bar, which is nothing but average of moving range. So how do I do it? I say is equal to and then I say sum of all data points divided by count of all data points. And that gives me 0 0.1525 again i refer to the cell above and then i can copy paste this till the end so that i can get the same value till the last cell. so now we have the individual data points and the center line because x bar is going to be the center line for the i chart and moving range average which is mr bar which is going to be the center line for the moving range chart so individual data points are ready the center line is ready now we have to move to control limits now, first we will see how to calculate the control limits for I chart. Then we will see how to calculate the control limits for moving range chart. Now, in the I chart, the upper control limit, the formula is X bar. That means average of the individual data points plus E2 times of MR bar. That is moving range average. So, that means average of X bar plus e2 times what do we mean by e2 times as i was saying in this case we are picking up samples one after the other so in the control chart constant stable whenever we are drawing i chart we need to consider our sample size as two what do we mean by sample size as two the samples are collected one after the other the one and the next one so here we do not have a subgroup as such so our sample size is nothing but two that is the first or the fundamental sample size with which the constant table start with so in this particular case as we are picking up samples one after the other this is the row that we need to look and for us to calculate the upper control limit e2 e2 times of so how do we do this we say is equal to then we say x bar plus open brackets e2 times of so e2 multiplied by moving range average which is mr bar so i select this and i close this and i hit enter i get this value again i'm going to refer this and copy paste this so that i'll be able to get the same value for all my cells and now the lower control limit so lower control limit formula is exactly the same only difference that we need to do is instead of plus we need to put the minus sign so average of my individual data points minus e2 times of moving range average so i'm going to put minus now i'm going to copy paste this sorry i'm going to refer to this particular value and this cell i'm going to copy paste till the end so that i get the same value so friends now we have seen how to calculate upper and lower control limit for my i chart now we will see how to calculate upper and lower control limit for my moving range chart so my moving range chart 
formula is d3 times of my average of moving range so here i have my moving range average already calculated so d3 times so the lower control limit is d3 times and if you see here till your sample size up to 6 the d3 value is directly 0 so what we are going to do is we are going to say is equal to this is my moving range average multiply d3 times so i am going to select d3 times for n is equal to that is sample size is equal to 2 and now i am going to refer to this value copy paste this value till the end and similarly for the upper control limit of my moving range chart i say is equal to this is my moving range average multiplied by d4 times so for moving range upper control limit d4 that is d4 for sample size that is d4 will be my column and my row will be sample size 2 so 3.267 so i select 3.267 so this is the moving range average multiplied by d4 times of n is equal to 2 so i say yes and now i refer this value then i copy paste this value till the end so friends what we have done so far is we have now individually calculated all the required values for us to construct a i chart and a mr chart that is individual chart and a moving range chart so how do we do this i first select my individual data points which is ph value of the detergent i hold the control key in my computer now i select the x bar values which is my center line now i select my upper control limit then i select my lower control limit so totally i have selected four values so i click on insert and i can select a line graph so if you see this line graph this line graph is nothing but my i chart for the given set of data maybe for some time we can keep this i chart here we will come back to this i chart in a minute so we can change the title as i chart So this is my i chart we will come back to this i chart in a minute we will also construct our moving range chart so for moving range chart what do i do i select my moving range values which is actually derived from my individual value i hold the control key then i select my average of moving range which is mr bar that is moving range average then i select my upper control limit for my moving range chart then I collect to select my lower control limit for my moving range chart. Again, five values selected, moving range, average of moving range, upper control limit for moving range chart and lower control limit for moving range chart. Again, I click on insert and I click on my line chart. So I get my line chart here and this will be my moving range chart. So let me put it just one below the other so that it becomes easy for us to understand. So this is my eye chart and this is my moving range chart so let me edit this this is my moving range chart okay now for the, for this chart to look better we can still make some changes in the markers so that it becomes easy for us uh, to identify the data points the movement so we can make it automatic we can make this as uh, you know white so that it becomes easy for us to uh, look at the chart so i go to marker options you can make the marker options as automatic i can say marker fill as white and from here on how we need to add data points all these things is pretty simple that you will be able to do it yourself so now we have constructed this imr that is individual moving range chart using our excel now let's see how the same thing can be constructed using the mini tab so i have the same ph value data here now what i can do is i can click on stats i can click on basic stats so stats control charts control charts for variable data and that variable data collected individually so i select i chart that is imr chart i can select the ph value now why we prefer using 
applications like Minitab because let me tell you what more we can do when we are using Minitab. So I can click on IMR options and in IMR options I can click on test and this is where applications like Minitab or any other business intelligent tools comes very handy. Why? Because if at all there is any particular statistical non-conformity. What do I mean by statistical non-conformity? A data point going outside control limits is definitely a statistical non-conformity. But along with that, there are various other statistical non-conformities. K points. So where you have K, you can replace with 9. 9 data points in a row on the same side of the central line. 6 data points in a row, all increasing or decreasing. 14 data points in a row, alternating up and down. 2 out of 3 data points greater than 3 standard deviation. 4 out of 5 data points greater than 1 standard deviation. 15 data points in a row within 1 standard deviation of the central line. 8 data points in a row greater than 1 standard deviation on the central line. So, by making a check mark in all these tests, the test becomes very robust and we will be able to identify all the possible statistical abnormalities that can happen in a uh, time series uh, data or a time series graph. So, the variation is measured with respect to time and that variation can be understood as common cause variation or special cause variation once by looking at the chart then by doing a detailed investigation on the data point. So now when I click OK, I get the same individual moving range chart that we saw. So for a better inter interpretation, let me maximize the chart. If you see here, there is one data point going outside the control limit, but still there are two more instances where the data point has failed test number 5. So if you see here 5, the 5 is nothing but indication of which particular test it has failed. So if you want to understand what is test number 5, you can again go back to IMR options, you can go to test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is the test that the data has failed. That is 2 out of 2 plus 1, 3 data points more than 2 standard deviation. That means the data point going outside 3 standard deviation, that means outside the control limit is also a problem, but the data point, more data point going outside 2 standard deviation, more than what is expected or more than what is allowed going outside 2 standard deviation is also a statistical abnormality. So, this kind of a detailed analysis is possible if we are plotting this chart using a uh, statistical application like Minitab or any other business intelligence tool. Just to give you an understanding of it, let me copy this graph and paste it next to this graph so that we can see both the graphs uh, just next to each other. So, it gives us a better understanding. So, let me paste it here. So, the same chart constructed using Excel, now we have constructed using mini tab and almost I am trying to align the graphs in such a way that the scales are also getting aligned right. So, you can see that the chart is pretty much similar to each other but your excel way of presenting it makes it much more easier. Um, so, friends I will be explaining about other charts also as we move on uh, in this particular uh, series of control chart videos. The first chart that I explained today or the first set of charts that I have explained today is individual and moving range chart used for variable data collected one after the other. How the chart need to be constructed? What are the formulas for central line, upper control limit and lower control limit for I chart? And similarly, the formula for central line and upper and lower control limit for moving range chart, how to construct the chart and the same chart when you construct in mini tab, how to do it and how to interpret the results. So, these are things we have seen in this video. Hope this video was useful for you to understand about IMR, individual moving range chart. See you in another control chart related video or any other mini tab or quality management related video. For more videos on these topics, kindly subscribe to our channel. Thanks for your time. See you in another video.